Hello guys and welcome back to another video and today we are going to grab out our mysterious box and take out more clay for another clay project and I know I've been gone for two weeks and literally have not posted since the 10th of this month and I think it's like the 26th so yeah I've been gone for a pretty long time sorry about that but you know I've been busy doing a whole lot of nothing so yeah how could you blame me? Like usual, I'm using the same exact clay as always, Sculpey, and you put it in the oven for 275 degrees for like 15 minutes, and some Sculpey glue to make it nicer, along with some tools, so that way it's easier to shape things. So I used some wire first, so that way I would be able to make out the base of what I am making, which are actually cows that are themed off of fruits and vegetables. And the first one that I am making, the position is standing down with one hoof up and i wanted to go smaller so this is my first one after that i made a whole lot more because i want to eventually sell these on etsy which i will be setting up soon i don't know when but i will make sure to tell you guys when it happens i decided to add clay adding the little hooves and i wanted to start off small so i started on the smallest one which was the sitting down one after making the little markings to make the little hooves i then started on the head i wanted to go with the simple design for these since it's the first thing that i'm selling on etsy and I didn't want to go all crazy so I decided to go with simple chibi looking cows and this cow is actually a banana cow I wanted to go with the banana cow because I thought that a banana cow would be the most cutest and like kind of reminds me of like I don't know baby food so I made it the smallest one so yeah the smallest one is a banana cow and you guys probably won't even tell that this one's a banana cow until the very end because the, the horns don't look like bananas they just look like regular their horns so yeah you're gonna see that later next one that we're moving on to is the blueberry cow and the blueberry cow i wanted to put more of a playful action so it's kind of kneeling down and like i don't know rearing up its horns even though it's not really good horns since they're little blueberries so and if anything it's like punching with little like bean bags so yeah with each and every one of these i'm gonna give them different hairdos and different little horns so the next one that i'm making is the one that you guys all probably recognize which is the a strawberry cow you all probably know this because the strawberry cow song and everyone just started to like them a lot so because of that and since it's kind of the basis for all of this i gave it the normal standing up pose because you know i wanted to keep it simple but now it is time to move on to our last two cows which is the orange one which i'm going to quickly face through that one because i don't know i felt like doing it which is because it was, it's pretty simple it just has like a swirly hairdo and little orange slices as horns the next one that i'm going to make is the avocado one and this one i actually went through the whole process of since i really didn't do it before but for that i'm going to need a lot more clay so i cut myself another slice of clay and started with the avocado cow this cow is actually the biggest, so that's why I needed more clay, and is also in a laying down position. So I rolled out some clay, and then stuck it on its legs, and then made sure that was tightly on there. Then continued to do that with all the legs. After that, I made the body and snipped off the top piece of the head, so that way it would go on properly. After that, I made little avocados, which took a long time, but you know, it's all worth it in the end. Then I made my little indents with the hooves, with a little two picks and then plop the head on and swirl it around just for extra stabilization after that all my cows were done and all that was left to do was stick them into the oven and then paint them after sticking them in the oven for about 15 minutes and the head of the blueberry cow actually fell off along with one of the other blueberries it seems pretty tragic but actually is pretty common since it is such big pieces it'll be easy to hot glue them back together the head was pretty easy but the blueberry was kind of tedious and i had to do it a couple more times but eventually i ended up with a pretty good looking cow and you could barely tell after i painted that it was broken before after that i got out my new paint palette and was ready to mess it up already the first cow that i painted was the banana cow because you know it's the smallest one and it's the one i like the most honestly and first things first i wanted to paint all of them white because even though i made them out of white clay they still were like showing some like slight like colorations that weren't that good so after coloring them all in a thin layer of white i then pulled back the yellow one and then got all my yellows greens and also some blacks and browns i was ready to paint this banana cow 
how. First things first, I put out all my colors on my paint palette and started to get ready to paint the little details first. First thing I painted was the thing that had the most detail, which was the little bananas on the little horns and also the tail, which I painted the exact same way as the little banana horns. I got some brown and painted the little hooves and I was about done with all the little details on the banana cow. So then I switched over to my strawberry cow which was actually a bit more tedious since there was a lot more colors going on or actually there was less colors going on but there were more polar opposites so you could tell if I messed up. So I first started with the strawberries and then made it onto the little leafy greens under the strawberries which it did get a little messy and I did have to go over them several times but you know you don't get to see that because movie magic. I then painted the hooves a dark red. I then quickly did the orange by just making you know it orange i kind of struggled with giving this one color but you know i gave it more details along the way after that i made the blueberry one which it took a while for me to get the perfect color for the blueberries but i eventually got a pretty good color for the blueberry after painting all the details including the tail the blueberry the greens on its head and little itty bitty details and its little collar i then moved on to the avocado this one was pretty tedious as the little balls in the middle of the avocados were hard to paint through. I did end up putting tape around the antlers so that way I wouldn't get that much paint on the actual cow. I ended up painting the muzzle green along with little spots on it as well. After painting the hooves a nice green, I then added the spots to all of the other cows and also fixed them up a little bit. First things first, I went with the banana by painting random little splotches and having a couple of actual banana spots on there as well. I think I added like two actual bananas on there, which is honestly pretty cute. After that, I went on with the strawberry and for that one, I just put a bunch of random spots and green little freckles on on there as well and i honestly think that the freckles kind of sold it i honestly like putting freckles on things i think it makes things a whole lot cuter and that is what we're going for cute and cuddly and you know it turns out i'm pretty good at making stuff like that and then there was orange i put a little bit more detail onto the oranges and a couple more spots but with the avocado, it was kind of different. I wanted to put little avocado spots, making all the spots avocado, because I think the avocado shape was already kind of splotchy. After that, I did the blueberry, and the blueberry, I did most of them blueberries. I think there's like three spots in there that aren't actually blueberries, but you know, either way, it's cute. After that, I put in a lot more details and ended up with this. They honestly look a heck of a lot cuter than they did before, and I think the eye kind of just sold it. I was honestly like debating what I should do with the eyes, but I think the simple little black eyes with cute little highlights is the best way to go. Along with this, the little tags that they have on their ears, I made them a pretty gold because originally I was going to go with the silver, but I think it would have not matched with any of them and it kind of looked dull. So instead I went with a bright gold. And my personal favorite is obviously the banana cow because it is the tiniest and the smallest and I really like the little dots on its little muzzle. And then the avocado one. I think the avocado one is the most extraordinary. I love its little hairdo and I love the fact that one of its eyes is an avocado seed. And then there's the blueberry one. I honestly like the blueberry one a lot. It does get a little derpy in some places, especially the fact that it was literally in pieces whenever it came out of the oven. I still think it is pretty cute. And just to remind you guys, I will, maybe, I don't know, you don't know with me, I might be selling these guys on Etsy. So keep your eye out because I may be posting like a short clip of me showing you guys my Etsy name and all that. These guys will probably be pretty cheap since it is my first thing that I am selling. So yeah, grab them while you can because I'm probably not going to make these guys again. And if I do, they're not going to be the same. So hopefully I'll see you guys very soon and sorry for just disappearing off the internet for the whole two weeks.